Hey everyone, uh, my name is Chin Song. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, now that everyone's a little, uh, little, little toasty with their alcohol and beer, uh, how many of you guys actually support uh, medical cannabis? Anybody? Raise your hand. I support it. I love it. My name, well, me and uh, a, a team of mine, we, uh, we actually work in the cannabis industry. We work for one of the top five uh, dispensaries in San Francisco, and we actually are going out on our own, and we're going to be providing uh, medical cannabis to, uh, to the Bitcoin community locally. Uh, we've got all our licenses, and things figured out now, and everybody can be excited about that. So um, we have our website ready, uh, everything's good to go, our paperwork got approved, and we'll probably be ready to launch by the end of this week. We have a lot of connections within the cannabis industry, so we're gonna have really great quality product for you guys. I just wanted to come out here and uh, let you guys know so we get some exposure, but- uh, That's your website. Be, it's uh, goldengatesgreenest.com. So check, us out, check it out, come on and uh, get verified. And we're, uh, we're also a veterans organization. Uh, I'm a combat veteran myself. And my, uh, I got other team members who are combat veterans, and we're going to be providing free cannabis to veterans as part of our organization. That's going to be forever. All right. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, I'm Ryan Taylor. In addition to doing the live streams of these Bitcoin events, I'm also the front-end developer for a project called Alexandria. It is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer application that allows for permissionless, permanent publishing by anyone, and also allows audience members to browse, search, and, and stream any of the content that's published. We just released our alpha, which is available on our Twitter page. It's Alexandria P2P. Our website has the uh, development roadmap, so you can check out features that we have now and features we're looking to add, and we will be open sourcing the code within the next few weeks. So check it out, thank you. Christian? Uh, hi, I'm Christian and I work at BitQuest and we are the Minecraft server that runs on Bitcoin. Um, you can play uh, Minecraft and trade with players, buy items, sell your stuff that you craft and everything with Bitcoin microtransactions inside the game. And uh, we're making a new game that is a standalone, it's not a modification anymore. And I have download codes here if you want to try the beta. Thank you. Hey all, I'm Robert and I run Blockchain University. We have a course for developers and entrepreneurs. The course is being taught by people like Block Cypher, Josh Cincinnati, guys from Block.io, Chain, Ethereum, and others, BitGo, Ryan Charles, and such. So we have a next, next cohort in Mountain View starting at July 18th for eight Saturdays. Mornings are the lectures and then the afternoons are time to build projects and followed by a demo day. So, thanks a lot. Hello, my name is Zuko, and my company is uh, working on solving Bitcoin's privacy problem um, using this cryptographic uh, protocol called Zero Cash that you might have heard of, and we're hiring. We're gonna hire one hardcore Bitcoin core C++ juggling engineer and one storyteller. We have the best team of scientists and engineers you've ever worked with, and we're backed by a slate of really great investors. Um, so if you're interested in that, get in touch with me. Um, if you can spell my name, Z-O-O-K-O, -O -O, then you can find my like email address on the internet. Thanks. I'm Rick Chan, I'm the COO of Airbits, and we're a mobile Bitcoin app, and we're hiring for three different positions. One is a community manager, one's a mobile IS, and then mobile Android. So come see me, 
or email me at rick at airbits, A-I-B-I-A-R-A-I-R-B-I-T-Z dot C-O. Thank you. John Light? Hi. Oh. <laughs> it's looking right at you. So, uh, first announcement I want to get out of the way. Uh, this uh, coming Saturday is uh, Buttonwood SF, which is uh, my Bitcoin trading meetup's uh, two-year anniversary, and we're going to be celebrating it this Thursday at Nakamoto's down at 20 Mission on, I think, 2415 Mission Street. Thanks a lot, Nakamoto's, and first for hosting that. Um, but right now, I'm here to talk to you about Bitseed. Um, this is a company that I uh, co-founded with some really awesome people. Uh, we develop a Bitcoin full node hardware. It's a real physical thing that you plug into power and plug into a router. And within a few hours, uh, you have a Bitcoin full node that's you know, got a full copy of the blockchain and is helping to support the Bitcoin network and move the Bitcoins from A to B. Um, so if you're interested in buying one of these devices or you have some comments or questions or criticism, please go to our website, bitcoin.org, and send us a message. Bitsy.org, send us a message, and uh, if you want to buy one, we accept Bitcoin. No, I put up Bitcoin.org. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick poll because there, there's very, it's hard to get a good sense of where people's opinions are on things when you're looking at Reddit and just looking at IRC. So I wanted to get a quick poll in general of the audience who supports bigger block sizes and then who supports a hard fork via a fork of Bitcoin a la Bitcoin XT? So number one, who supports bigger block sizes? Let's go with eight megabytes in a year. Hands. Okay, who supports a Bitcoin XT style hard fork where there's a fork of Bitcoin and one of them does a bigger block size, one doesn't? Okay. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I'd like to know what Augur thinks about that. Um, so my name's Lauren, uh, I've been going around teaching corporations about Bitcoin, spoken to PayPal, Computer Associates, ran L-O-R-N-E, L-A-N-T-Z. And I ran the O'Reilly Bitcoin conference. So if you guys know of any companies that could use some Bitcoin education, uh, let me know. I'd be, you know, I have a whole set of stuff to teach, and uh, laurenlands.com. I don't, um, I'm there. I don't know. Okay. So Sorry. I'll, I'll call my ISP. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I kind of just wanted to make a quick announcement that uh, Ryan, our live streamer, his car broke down in San Diego today, and he rented a car and drove up here to live stream this. So. <laughs> if you have any money to spare, maybe a few bucks, i throw it that way, or bitcoins or something, I'm sure he'd be happy to take them so he can pay for his rental car. So, all right, everyone, thanks for coming, and we have more beer and wine, so please drink it. Thank you.